I didn't know what he was trying to do, but then I, later on I got the idea that for goodness sakes, you see, you see there's a different kind of uh, darknesses before light came. You know? Like when the sky father and sky mother couldn't be separated, you know, they, uh, they loved each other so much that they, you know, they, nobody, and the kids are rebelled. And said, look, uh, we're, we're in the swamp. Huh? There's no light. And one of them said, yeah, well, let's kill him. You know, push him off. Huh? Let the light in. So they do, they force him apart. <coughs> Sky father, up in the air, and earth mother, mm -hmm. ground. So that's a mythology, you see. Of that, and so, um, so with the paintings that I saw of Hotere, the black on black on black, it uh, talks about those uh, different intensities of darkness. Te po nui, te po roa, te po tangatango, te po rikiriki, all several about seven. So he's trying to get this, I guess, you know, just black paintings. So anyway, his uh, the poem that I <coughs> gave, and he used to draw. Just thin lines, you know, um, vertical. Anyway, I read this poem. When you offer only three vertical lines precisely drawn and set into a dark pool of lacquer, it is a visual kind of starvation. And even though my eyeballs roll up and over to pee inside myself, when I reach the beginning of your eternity, I say instead, hell, let's have another feed of muscles. Like I have to think about it, man. When you stack horizontal lines into vertical columns which appear to advance, recede, shimmer and wave like exploding packs of cards, I merely grunt and say, well, if it is not, if it's, if it's, it is not a famine, it's a feast. I have to roll another smoke, man. But when you score a superb orange circle on a purple thought base, I shake my head and say, hell, what is this thing called love? Like I'm Euclid, man. I'm eclipsed. 